so in this video we are going to learn about the pe file format pe stands for portable executable so in our uh, day to day life we will be using the exe files on the computer so uh, we will be also using the dll files so obviously the exe files will use the functions from the dll for execution so these uh, come under the file format that is portable executable so the name uh, given uh, based on the portability so if you compile one uh, binary to windows 7 and if you run that in windows 8 so it will obviously execute so that's why there is a portability among the windows systems uh, not cross platform that's why the name portable executable was given so we are going to uh, see in the uh, hex editor and also we will be using that tool called pe where uh, there are so many tools that will parse the pe file and retrieve the contents from that uh, uh, bytes so we will be seeing the pe pair later first we will be uh, opening the file in the hex editor so so we will be using a normal uh, exe file and all of these headers are defined in this winnt.h so you can download this file from this ming uh, for windows so after downloading that you can open this in visual studio code and the first one is the dos header the first 64 bytes is the dos header uh, so each row consists of 16 bytes so we can define the first four rows as the dos header so you can also see pe file format images if you go to the images and So here you can see the first one is the DOS header that is the first 64 bytes so this image is not clear so okay this okay this is fine the first one is the uh, DOS MZ header first 64 bytes uh, you can also search here uh, image DOS header here you can see the all the members of this uh, DOS header we will be not be covering all of these members only the important ones will be covered the first one is the e magic this is the magic number uh, for the file and we will be also seeing another magic number in the another headers so we will be discussing in the uh, in the upcoming videos so for now just this one is a magic number so the word word is the two bytes and the d word is the double word that means double of two bytes which is four bytes so e magic is uh, 5a4d so these are in the written indian byte order so the magic number will be 5a4d and if you just identify you can see in the ascii uh, text mz so this can be this is the magic file for the p magic number for the pe file format so the next field we will be discussing is the lfa new so this can be this is the pointer to the pe header so here you can see there is a dash tub this is the dash tub here you can see this from 0 e to the 0 0 so what this does is whenever you load this pe file in the ms dos this a string will be printed onto the console the program cannot be run under the dos mode uh, it should be run in the only in the microsoft windows so that is the purpose of this dos tub 
so whenever the windows uh, this uh, lfnu is the pointer to the pe header so this uh, last member will point to the pe header and here you can see the value is uh, uh, last to four bytes because it's a uh, d word and if you reverse from right to left you will be getting you will be getting 0000000080 so if you go to this address and here you can see on the left hand side this is the address and we have the uh, pe header uh, starting address and the contents are uh, the first uh, uh, word is the pe so which defines this is the uh, pe file uh, in some cases whenever the program is compared under microsoft uh, uh, linker then uh, there will be some garbage in between this dos tub and the pe header so that garbage uh, will have some xor key so you need to xor the data with that uh, checksum field after that you will be getting the information on what uh, system it has uh, compiled and what are the versions of the linker uh, etc so in our executable we don't have that we have only the uh, dos tub uh, dos header dos tub and the pe header so the first member is the uh, signature and the second member is the file header and the third member is optional header so you can search for this image image uh, underscore uh, image file header uh, so if you go up So this, uh, sorry, this is the entity headers. Uh, I'm searching for another name. Sorry for that. So image entity headers. This is the uh, PE header, and the first member is the D word, and this is the signature. So the first four bytes includes the signature. So the first four bytes are zero 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 four five fifty. So this constitutes the uh, the ASCII characters PE. Which defines the PE file format, and the next one is the structure image file header. So if I go and search for this, and here we can see the structure. So we can uh, estimate the size: uh, two bytes, four bytes, eight, twelve, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So the file header uh, constitutes to 20 bytes so 20 bytes from this 4c so these are the 12 bytes and here you can see up to the next 8 bytes constitutes the file header so the first one is the machine so this indicates uh, to which uh, CPU type this has compiled? So if I search for machine, I'll go to this uh, machine types, and here you can see the uh, various machine types and their uh, values. Here we have uh, the machine is a word, so 014C. 014c now i'm going to copy this one and search in this 014c
okay so we got this so image file machine i386 inter 386 or letter process so this is compared in this as a inter uh, 32 bit uh, exe that is uh, the first member machine and the number of sections here you can see the number of sections uh, is defined here uh, these uh, you can tell the number of sections from this uh, field that is the word which is 0003 so we can say number of sections 0 so there are three sections we will be discussing those sections in the upcoming videos and the next field is uh, a time date stamp uh, the next d word So this is the Unix uh, epoch time. You need to convert that into uh, uh, actual human readable date format. So we have the contents B six four four zero seven A zero. So for uh, this uh, binary, I am getting the wrong value. <laughs> it says it's compared in from two thousand sixty. So convert this, copy this one, Unix about timestamp. So go to this website and paste here and convert to human readable. Here you can see the year 2066. Okay, so I don't know why this. Uh, uh, it was compiled in the Visual Studio uh, .NET framework. Uh, maybe it has put some wrong information there. So anyway, that is the timestamp. So you can uh, obviously view another uh, file like notepad.exe or cmd.exe. You can open this in the accelerator and see the uh, timestamp values. So next we'll be having some pointer to symbol table, symbols, etc. So any debugging information and the size of optional header. So this is a uh, important field because the optional header uh, the size is the dynamic so generally it will be 224 bytes uh, it can vary so that's why the size of this optional header is defined in this file header dot size of optional header so this is the last penultimate word so this you can see uh, this one these two bytes e000 so that is uh, size of optional header is 00e0 So which is 224 bytes and the last one is characteristics it will define the file characteristics whether it's a uh, uh, dll readable uh, here you can see the characteristics uh, whether it's executable image or uh, it has the debugging symbol strip etc so let's see what our value has we have the word that is this one and this one two bytes two two zero zero so that is uh, zero zero two two so we can search for zero x two two uh, this is the flags uh, flag values you need to add them so for uh, 20 so we have image file large address aware and add this two so image file executable image so our application can handle to GB addresses and also the it is an executable because it's a exe so these are the headers we have covered in this video first one is the uh, DOS header first 64 bytes and the next one is the following uh, DOS header and the next one is the signature PE signature and the next one is the file header which contains the machine number of sections, timestamp, size of optional header, and characteristics. So let's go and load this in the PE parser called PE bear. Here you can see whenever you load this, here you will have the nice uh, tree structure. DOS header if I go and click on this it will take me to the uh, first uh, 
uh, byte for D5A we have seen in the hex editor and here you have the general information it also has this disassembly and the DAS header here you can see all of the members and their values so this PE parser will take uh, these uh, according to the sizes so it's uh, magic number is the word so it will go and parse the content here you can see this has uh, already written the bytes from return to normal uh, uh, 5f4d and here you can see the file address of new exe header so if i go and click this i will be taken to this 80 address which is the uh, pe header so if i go click on this so here you can see the first address is 80 and the pe we can also click on this offset or right click on this you need to make sure follow on click and the file header we have the machine so it also uh, this application also decodes the value 14c so it will uh, uh, see in this uh, lookup table and converts this into meaningful format and there are three sections and the timestamp it also converted to 2066 and size of, size of optional header 224 bytes and characteristics 22 so the two is file executable and application can handle 2 gb addresses so okay so that's all for this video we have covered the dos header dos tab signature and the file header